today. My name's Ben, and this is my mate, George the Farmer. Today, we're gonna to learn about the paddock to plate journey of one of George's most favorite foods, the delicious chicken. And we're here with our mate, Kerry the Chicken Farmer, to help us with our investigation. Hi guys, welcome to our chicken farm in South Australia. On our farm, we feed and care for the chickens, from one day old chicks until they're fully grown chickens at about 49 days old. Kerry says that the chicks hatch from eggs in a special place called a hatchery before they arrive at the chicken farm. At the hatchery, the eggs sit on shelves in a machine called a setter. This machine is used to incubate the eggs. Wow, so Kerry, what does that mean? Incubation refers to the development of the embryo or baby chick inside the egg. The baby chick requires just the right temperature and other conditions in order for it to develop. After 18 days, the eggs are moved from the setter to a piece of equipment called a hatcher. The eggs have to be handled very carefully to make sure they hatch as healthy chicks. The hatcher is a much warmer home for the eggs than the setter. After three days, the baby chicks start to chip away at the inside of the eggshell to break it open so that they can emerge from the egg. We call this hatching. Once the chicks have hatched, they are counted and checked to make sure they are healthy before being delivered to the farms so that they can be raised into chickens. Travel around this great big globe, yeah. You'll always find a chicken on a stove. Oh. Pop it on a pizza roll and a pie, yeah. There's heaps of different dishes you can try. Oh. Chicken is your meat, don't you know? Pack full of protein and off you go, yeah. Why tasty, yeah. In your belly, yeah. Chicken is a tasty meat. Lots of protein, yeah. Chicken's growing, yeah. There's only one meat you should try, and that's chicken, yeah. The chickens are reared in these big houses, which are called sheds or barns. Farmers need to make sure the sheds are very clean before the baby chicks arrive. To prepare the shed for the arrival of the chicks, they spread a layer of bedding material like sawdust, wood shavings or rice hulls across the shed floor. They call this litter. The sheds use heaters and fans to keep the temperature nice and warm so that the chicks are comfortable when they first arrive and to cool them down later when they start getting bigger as they are here. Kerry says that when the chicks arrive on the truck, they need food and water straight away. Once they are inside the shed, the chickens can feed and drink from pans and drinkers which run in long straight lines down the shed or barn, just above the ground. The silos, which are big bins outside the shed, keep the pans full of food for the chickens. George, we work really closely with scientists like Dr Tamsin over there. Let's find out what her role is. G'day, I'm Tamsin and I'm lucky enough to work with farmers to make sure their chickens are fit and healthy. We feed them lots of nutritious food and we make sure it's delivered to them at exactly the right temperature. Wow, that's amazing, Tamsin. So can you tell me, what do we actually feed chickens to make them nice and healthy? The chickens are fed pellets made up of yummy grains all ground up. So things like wheat, barley and canola meal. The pellets are made at exactly the right size for beaks of chickens at different ages. Wow, that's amazing, George. We check on the chickens every day to make sure they're growing strong and healthy. While they are growing up here, the chickens do lots of the things that chickens love to do, like scratching and dust bathing in the litter, playing and squabbling with each other. And then after seven weeks at the farm, the chickens are ready to be picked up and taken to the processing plant. And you know what that means? Lots of delicious chicken arriving at the supermarkets and butchers for us to eat. Oh. Wow, who turned out the lights? Oh, sorry Ben. We need to dim the lights so the chickens can have a rest, just like us. We turn the lights down so that the chickens know it's night time and they can have a sleep. Ah, uh, I understand. Well George, I think this is as good a time as any for us to go to the next place on our paddock to plate journey. And that's the kitchen. I wonder how good you and Simone are at cooking chicken nuggets. See you Tamsin, see you Kerry, we're off. Wait, tasty, yeah. In your belly, yeah, chicken is a taste of meat. It's protein, yeah, it's growing, yeah. There's only one thing you should try, and that's chicken, yeah. Oh, we love our 
você. Well, Ben and George, you certainly learnt a lot at Kerry's Chicken Farm. We certainly did, Simone, but I tell you what, we are super duper hungry. Well, that's lucky because we're going to cook some of my world famous homemade chicken nuggets. We love chicken nuggets, don't we, George? So good. Okay, well, let's start off. Pop some bread into the blender. Okay, so I'm just going to tear up some bread here yep. into the blender. And then we'll add in some oats as well. And oats are one of the healthiest grains in the world. Wow, that's cool. I also cool. like to add in some herbs. Okay. So we've got some parsley here. Lovely. And okay. then we put the lid on and give it a good whiz. Let's give it a good whiz. Now we've got our yummy breadcrumbs. Fantastic. Look at that. Okay, so now so what we need to do is add our chicken into the flour. Okay. And then once we've done that, we coat it in the eggs. I'm going to take the eggs that you've whisked up. And we're going to coat them in the egg mixture. Mm -hmm. And we're going to drop them into the breadcrumbs. Okay, all crumbed up, Simone. Delicious. There we go. Great. Okay, so we turn on our cooktop, get it nice and hot, the pan, pop in some olive oil, and when that comes to temperature, we start cooking our nuggets. Oh, so good, so good. Well, these are looking nice and golden brown. I'll just turn them over. Yeah. Look at that, George. Okay, these look ready. Wow. Here we go, my homemade chicken nuggets full of protein and fiber. Oh, Simone, they look awesome. Well, George, 2468, bog in, don't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us on this paddock to plate journey of chicken meat. Catch you later, or as our chicken mates would say, <laughs>